Emily? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crimes of passion. What's that leave us? I don't know, Nick. It can't be the Institute, right? Guess that's up to you to find out. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. 
Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth and fend for itself. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, but they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off.
give it a try. Won't be able to pick this. No luck? Guess we need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. The platform that should take you up. trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. business around the mayor. Got it? Geneva. Did you need something else? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Maybe we can reach an agreement? 
I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. A guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. Button. Hey, Valentine. Check out what's on that table. Why don't you search that table, then we'll compare notes. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking.
Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Lost the scent, boy? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him.
What is it, boy? What are we looking for? Kellogg was here. Let's find something to track him down. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Okay, boy, let's track him.
We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy, let's track him. Feel my legs. Another one of his stogies. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy.
at the old army base. Is he hiding out here? this the place? Is he in here, boy? Hey. Hey.
tight.
survival project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. Don't take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. 